It's your boy Chips and welcome guys to another series here on High Pickle Skyblock. Where today we are gonna grind all the way from absolutely nothing to a Hyperion only through dungeons. That is right guys, we are here on a solo profile for this series with extremely low stats. We might have farming and mining XP, but our foraging is only seven, so we have super low strength. Our combat is only around 20 and catacombs have not even been touched. We also have a clear inventory, clear purse, clear everything. And we're gonna grind our way through the floors. We're gonna drop a handle and we're gonna craft one of the best weapons in the game, a Hyperion. Now, just like some of my other mining or farming from nothing series, money will only be allowed to be made through dungeons. I will be able to use the auction house and the bazaar, but nothing on my island, no minions or anything like that. Now to participate and complete dungeons, you actually need a party. And so to keep this fair, I've gone ahead and Nicked, and I'll add a rule that I can't join a party with anybody more than five cata levels ahead of me. Yes, that's gonna make it a lot tougher, but I think it's only fair. So let's go ahead, start a queue for just the entrance and confirm the group. Come on guys, join, join, join. Who doesn't wanna support a level zero archer? We got somebody, cata level three, 197 secrets, and somebody else. Look at this squad. I'm jumping in, I'm jumping in. Three of us are level zero. Oh my gosh. But guys, in comes the challenge. I have absolutely nothing, but I I do have my dungeon orb to use that i'm going to switch to mage and we're going to see what kind of loot we can get what kind of secrets we can find and what kind of money we can hopefully make starting with absolutely nothing guys f's in chat for oil pepper not knowing how to ready up all right uh, yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting oh let's go we got we got a chest plate already super boom I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, skeletons, stay away. Give me something. Give me money. Nope, not money. Doing dungeons without a TP weapon of sorts is mighty impossible. Let's get this secret here. Let's go ahead and claim a few revive stones. Try and run past some of these mobs. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, I need something good. More training weights. This is not going well. Oh my gosh. Give me items. No. Yes. No. All right. Well, first dungeon complete. We do come out with a chest plate and two training weights. We can sell those training weights for our first two coins. Let's just run it back and keep trying to get some items of value. Give me a good item. A rev stone. Get this chest. Another training weight. Now here we are at run number three, and I think I'm gonna change things up a little bit. I don't know why I thought I'd get like a treasure talisman out of one of these chests. It's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna kind of ignore secrets and really try and get some mob kills. Maybe drop a few items that way. Let's jump in there. We'll use our lightning ability and bang, dude, right off the bat, we got a bone and we got a helmet. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, then shoot. Yes, another helmet, super boom. Another run complete. Gonna go ahead and requeue us. The boys are popping off. First room here, dropped another chest plate. Oh my gosh, we got boots. Another chest plate. Oh my god, we've done it. We have finally gotten a weapon. And it's a good one too. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go crazy. Took uh, five runs, I think, but we almost have a full setup. Alrighty, another entrance complete. Let's head to the hub. I know you guys were a great party, but I am gonna have to leave that one. We have so much to sell here. Those training weights, of course, can be gone. This rotten flesh, 500 coins. Bone, literally four or 5,000 coins. Then even more chest plates and helmets. These rotten chest plates probably don't sell too much. I'll go ahead and put mine up for just 19K each. Then we have two heavy helmets. Looks like 9.9K is actually the cheapest you can put them up. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, hopefully those sell. But in the meantime, we're gonna continue the grind. We're almost catacombs level four, I think. We can go ahead and try floor number one. But right now we got me in a tank level eight and we'll give it a shot. Get some kills, another 5K already. Oh my gosh, oh boy, we failed. Let's try again, my man, let's try again. Boss door open. Yes, we killed all the minis. Can we kill Bonzo? Our sub cata eight party. Too easy, it's too easy. And I gotta rejuvenate one in the free chest. Let's go. Here's another floor one pretty much fully cleared out. And we dropped a bow too. And there's Bonzo dead. Cata level five, mage level five, let's go. Unfortunately, just feather falling this time, but all good, all good. Oh yeah, Bonzo down again. I don't think I have 25K, but we could get a hot potato book. I need just a bit here. So let's sell this bone. 
Let's sell my Rejuvenate. Looks like one of our chest plates sold. Then we'll sell some of these other pieces. We got boots for 19k and Dreadlord swords for 7k. Makes it enough so that we can go to the dungeon hub and talk to this man to grab this gold chest. Then to hit the bazaar and sell it for 90k. Let's go. Then we just wait a bit and we can start to claim some good money. Guys, we started at absolutely nothing and we already have 150k in the purse. That's just awesome. Now, let's make a couple quick purchases. I can't seem to get any legs to drop, so I'll just go ahead and buy some rotten legs. This will do for low floors. Then I'm going to go to the weaponsmith and fill my small quiver. And the last thing we're going to buy for now is a grappling hook just for some better movement. You can craft this thing, of course, if you have the recipe, but I went ahead and bought it. Anyway, back to Mort, and let's jump in a couple more floor ones. Now, the epic thing is that we can actually ready up as an archer now, and those abilities are just so OP. I'm able to do so much more damage. Easy money. Oh, yeah. The grapple's amazing, too. With so many more kills, we're just getting so much more gear to sell. So we make it to Bonzo as an archer, and we can help a ton, help shred through his health. Any profit? Any profit? Nope. We're taking the wooden chest. Another rejuve book on the next one. Let's go. We just killed an LA. Got a bunch of drag frags. And the infantry inventory has filled up quite nicely let's go ahead and take out bonzo not too much profit on this one just a rejuve book but at this point we are up to okada 8 almost level 9 but more importantly we have a full inventory of gear so let's head to the hub claim some of the older items from the auction house and start selling all of these we can put the rotten gear up for just about 14k each then we've got some sniper helmets some cheap dreadlord swords and a few bows everything at lowest spin of course to fill up the auction house with still so much more in our inventory moving on over to the bazaar we've got those drag frags both holy and unstable then a ton of rejuvenate books 200k worth this necromancer's brooch for 70k and then just some quick rotten flesh and bones we can collect almost all of it and wow, we're almost at 1 million coins. I almost just want to cancel and sell that instantly. Bang. Our first 1 million coins have been claimed. With this money, we're going to head to the auction house and purchase an aspect of the end. Although the grappling hook has been helpful and I will keep it, the AOTE will help so much with movement. Next up, I think we're going to go ahead and purchase a skeleton pet. We don't quite have enough for a legendary yet, unfortunately, but we can grab just a cheap epic one. So soon we'll grab an XP boost for that guy. Anyway, that's pretty much everything spent. Let's head back to the dungeon hub and see if we can step it up to start running some floor twos. Here we go, here we go. This AOTE actually helps me get these secrets so much. TP'd into Scarf. Let's see how this goes. Killed the minis eventually. 30k, dead. First F2 completion. And we get profit. And here's our second Scarf battle. S plus this time, here we go. Adaptive blade in there. 30k profit on a hot potato book. That's what we like to see. We'll go ahead and claim some money. That way we can grab some of this profit. Ult Y is almost 100k profit on this one. And a rejuve book here. No, guys, guys. Bonzo staff, that's huge. It's two mils open though. We need to grind for it. Let's go ahead and find another party. Queue back up. Yeah, we already hit level 10 kata. Another floor to complete. We got a rejuve. Oh my gosh. This might be exactly what we need. 200k for a red scarf. I don't have that many coins, but I can get them. Let's quickly go ahead and claim some of this money in the bazaar. Then we'll buy that red scarf. 1.6 mil in the bazaar. Oh my god. Another scarf kill though. 50k for 100k profit. But there it is. After some runs, the red scarf sold. We'll claim it with these other items. Almost 2.5 mil in the purse right now. And we'll be able to double that just because of this run. We can spend 2 mil to buy a bonzo staff. Let's go. Maybe we'll sell this sometime soon. But for now, honestly, I'm going to keep it and use it as a weapon. Let's keep running it. Let's hop in this party. And here we go. Yo, we just hit Kata 12. Let's go. Yes, dude. More profit. Profit. 500k for 500k profit. Let's go make some money. So many more items to sell. Then as they go, we can claim them on up and claim that obsidian chest. Yes, sir. I'll go lowest bin 1.24 mil. Hot potato book. Nothing there. Two mil. Oh my gosh. Five million coins for a recom. 
that is uh it's gonna be a little tough but we do have that bonzo staff maybe we can get a couple more good drops here but that is big profit that we love to see i do really like going archer at this level though i'm not gonna lie it's just the machine gun bow has been pretty strong and it's done me well it's good against mini bosses too quickly wipe this brow and against flood clear there we go if we can claim all these auctions for 1.7 mil then i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and sell this bonzo staff lowest bin right now is just 5.8 mil and so it has sold 5.8 mil to claim let's head back to the dungeon hub we have 8 mil in the purse so we can jump into this f1 run and purchase that recom quick 2 mil profit gonna come from that let's go more profit more profit let's go an adaptive belt for 500k worth for sure and a scarf studies again as well claim that up the chests are mighty good today i think i'm actually gonna hit up the adventurer though and go ahead and purchase one of each of these tallies. Then I'll throw them in the accessory bag with that scarf studies. Scarf studies again, come at me. And after a handful more runs, we've done it again. Five mil to spend for two mil profit. Let's sell some goods and make the purchase. Straight into the bazaar you go. Oh my dude, another good run. We got a red scarf here. Spend 500k, make 500k. But then there's a scarf studies over here. I think this one's probably more worth, so we're going for it. Okay, bringing the boys from level 10 through 14 into an F3 run. Let's see how we do here. Gonna give it a shot. Really low expectations, but oh my gosh, a SA in our first room. Okay, one man down. 23, yes. An F3 mini kill, that feels good. Let's see how the rest of this goes. Yikes. Okay, died, but now we are headed into the boss fight. Managed to get the clear. We'll see how it goes. Good looks. That's phase one complete. Phase two with the professor complete. Just to finish him off here, let's go. Our first F3 completion. And we got an S. No good loot, no good loot, but good XP for sure. In fact, at this point, guys, we are already up to Kata level 15. Let's go. I think this is a good spot to take a little break as well, come back to the hub and claim some money. With all these items recently, we've got 17 million coins to claim. And yes, that is mostly these two recoms, but Okay, we got a couple of other good items as well and claiming all of it gets our purse up to over 20 million coins this progress blows my mind guys we had absolutely nothing and just with rotten gear a heavy chest plate this machine gun short bow and a dreadlord sword we've made it to cattle level 15 we're able to do successful f3 runs and we've got 20 million coins to our name. What a great place to end off part one of this challenge. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are indeed going to make it all the way to a Hyperion. Also, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, use code SWEET in the Hypixel store for 5% off, and leave a comment down below on what you want to see throughout the rest of this series. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Adios and goodbye. <laughs>